Good morning, everyone. I am Toby, the Kilted Adventurer, back at Savage Gulf today. We're going to answer the question, what is the stone door? Stone Door Trail is part of the Savage Gulf State Natural Area. It is a great stop for folks interested in a short, easy hike with some amazing views. Located near Beersheba Springs, Tennessee in the northwest corner of Savage Gulf, you start by parking at one of the two ranger stations. One unexpected amenity at this location is restrooms with running water. Every visitor at this site is required to register, even day hikers. Back at Savage Gulf State Recreational Area, we are going to answer the question, what is the stone door? Before we do that, I wanted to see another Laurel Falls, not the same one that we visited before in Dayton. This is a one-third mile loop trail right by the ranger station. Pretty good descent here, so I'm really watching my steps. However, I can already hear the water. So let's go check this out and see what is in store. As I mentioned, there are a number of stairs here. We can already hear the water. We got a fair amount of rain last week, so I'm hoping the volume is good. But either way, should be enjoyable. Right, getting our first glimpse of the waterfall. Looks like they have a station where you can see it better. Still descending. That's what they make good boots for. This doesn't appear to be part of the actual trail, but there's obviously a lot of foot traffic to the top of the falls. So we're going to be real careful. Watch our step. We get a different point of view here. Show you this very dense forest. There's the platform. This is the top of the falls. That's where it spills over. Who else loves the sound of water? Leave me a comment below. All right, gonna finish this loop. I saw a blue blaze a moment ago indicating ancillary trail. The main trails have white blazes. is an old mill. I'm going to come back and hit that sometime in the winter. A little less heat, a lot less poison ivy. Let's start doing this climb. Gates opened at 7 a.m. at this part of the park. I was here at 7. Only car in the parking lot. For now I actually have the entire trail the park to myself. It's already 76 degrees. Hello, July in Tennessee. So I'm only gonna spend a couple hours out here today. Safety first, I'm going to seek some adventure.
Now we're starting on the main trail toward the stone door. The first quarter mile is paved and gives you access to Laurel Gulf Overlook. Makes it really nice, it's accessible for everyone. After we see that overlook, we'll go another 0 0.7 miles. There's two additional 100 feet high overlooks. This is a very popular spot for rock climbing. Do it at your own peril. Take all appropriate safety precautions. But also for those of us that are hiking, don't throw rocks over the ledge. Somebody might be down below. Just something to keep in mind. And the other thing I have read also about this area is they have these very well built, very well maintained wooden bridges overall the different creek crossings. We're approaching Laurel Overlook. Very foggy this morning, driving up and over the mountain. I could barely see the road in front of me. The asphalt has ended. We have another 0.7 miles until we learn the mystery of the stone door. I read about this twisted tree website. I just wanted to take just a second to take a look. Real quick channel update. Had a lot of folks watching the video I released a few months ago, Reasons to Wear a Kilt. If you haven't checked that episode out yet, it's really a good culmination of 15 different guys giving reasons why they wear kilts. I'll tell you why I wear them. Obviously the cultural aspect is part of it, but when you're out here hiking, whether it's cold or really hot like it is today, it's just a comfortable piece of clothing. Also strikes up conversation, and I like meeting new people, so you definitely can't be shy. But if you haven't liked or subscribed, and you're just coming to my channel for the first time, consider doing so. For those of you who have been with me on this journey, I really do appreciate you. Looks like we're approaching additional overlooks. A reminder rock climbers. I did read that these have no rails, so exercise. Extreme caution, which is a pretty good thing to live by in general. This actually reminds me a lot of the overlook at North Chickamauga, part of the Cumberland Trail system. Shot another episode there, North Chick hiking adventure. This is something. 
something else. Looks like we got about 270 degrees here. Of view. This is something. That's an amazing overlook. This is where the connector trail picks up. Looks like the other overlook be just right here also we might have seen it out of the corner of our last view before we take this trail find out what is the stone door let's check out this view I don't even have words. Look at this rock. Who wouldn't love this? We're arriving at the stone door. There's a natural slot in the rock. It's about 10 feet wide, about 100 feet deep. When seen from the base of the bluff, it looks like a stone door has been opened, revealing a staircase at the top. This is something. Little bonus is actually cool right here, too. Right, I'm gonna turn this off. Take care of my business getting down those stairs. See you at the bottom. I'm at the bottom of the stone door. The trail continues here. Not for me today. I want to turn around and let you see what we just came down. That, my friends, is the stone door. Thank you for joining me today on this hiking adventure. Remember to give me that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, seek adventure.